Now that we have covered the basics of multiplying and dividing powers, we can look at some more complicated expressions. Here are some examples of the types of problems we will be looking at. A few things you'll notice is that we have multiple powers with different bases, we are using variables for the bases, and we are multiplying and dividing powers in the same expression. First, we are going to look at a quick example where the base is a variable a to the power of 3 multiplied by a to the power of 2. All of the rules that we learned still apply here. We are multiplying two powers with the same base, and therefore we can add the exponents together to get a to the power of 5. Now for an example, we are going to evaluate the following expression. First, a few things to remember here. When two terms are touching like this, it is considered multiplication. Second, is that when the brackets are touching, it is also considered multiplication. Finally, order does not matter when multiplying multiple terms together in a row. Now using what we know about multiplying powers, we get a with an exponent of 3 plus 2 multiplied to b with an exponent of 2 plus 1. When we evaluate this, we get a to the power of 5 multiplied by b to the power of 3. Now let's look at our second example. If we separate these into separate fractions but multiplying each other, it might be easier to visualize what is going to happen next. First, we have x to the power of 5 over x to the power of 3, which gives us x to the power of 5 minus 3. Second, Let's work with the y variable and we get y to the power of 7 minus 5. Finally, we are left with z to the power of 11. There is no z in the denominator, so this will just stay as z to the power of 11. Now we can bring these back together for our simplified expression. In this lesson, you learned about evaluating more complicated expressions and that we can evaluate expressions with variables as the basis. We evaluated multiplication of terms with different bases and exponents. You multiply the terms with similar bases by adding their exponents together. The second expression we looked at was division of powers with multiple different bases. You divide the similar bases by subtracting the exponents. The final piece is that if you have a power in just the denominator or numerator without a matching base, we can just leave it as is.